everybody welcome back to the create tutorial today we're going to go over the fisheye point assistant tool and it's very simple but you can get some really dramatic um perspective with it to say the least so first we're just going to go over how to actually activate it so obviously your assistant tool is over here you want to go into your tool options and select fisheye point so if you watched my previous videos this is going to be just like the ellipse tools where you have your first point, second point, and the third point to make the uh, sphere. If you hit shift, you can make the perfect circle. If you want a more dramatic fisheye look, you can stretch this out. I'm gonna go for a more dramatic look. I'm actually gonna make this a little bigger. So a couple things to keep in mind here. Uh, you don't have any options as the for the assistant tool itself except to change the color, save it, export it, all that fun stuff. Um, and you have the ability to make multiple round shapes kind of like the concentric ellipse and you can also reverse it or go on the top here if you needed something even more dramatic or if you wanted to make a ceiling or a floor whatever it is uh real quick if you i'm gonna make a couple of lines here whoops here we go so if you can see it kind of looks like the um Latitude longitude maps of the earth where you would have let's say North America is over here Alaska this is great Florida Texas Mexico is down here California South America that's great Australia is somewhere over here then you have what do you have I is it Greenland Iceland I don't know UK is up here somewhere and you have Europe and China Asia Africa down here. This is great, right? World map. If you want to do something crazy like that, you can do that with the um, <laughs> the fisheye tool pretty well. It actually looks kind of neat, but that's not technically what it's for. What you would want to do, make sure this is snapped on, it actually works best when you have other assistant tools with it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add a two point perspective here uh, just to keep this simple. And we're going to make this a different color so we can kind of see it and then just bring that down. All right. So now we have our brush. We have snap to assistance on. Whoops. That color actually should be custom color. There we go. That works. Bring this down. Okay. Now we can see our fisheye point. So we're just going to make a couple points here. We have to be a little careful because we are working with two assistant tools. So we need to make sure that our um, brush is aligned to the stroke that we want. So I need to go for the curved one. And then here, I actually need to go for the uh, perspective. You can see right away, I'm making some really weird shaped buildings. We're just going to say they're buildings. I don't know what they would be in real life. <laughs> We're just going to pretend they're buildings. But it has a very interesting warp perspective. It's very dramatized, very exaggerated. Oh my goodness, there we go. And there's a little bit of a pain to work with. That's okay. As you can see here, it is dramatic, but yeah, you can get the idea with the perspective. Just gonna kind of fine tune this a bit. There we go. Okay, so let's say these are buildings. Like if you have a really warped le camera lens, you can start making your your windows here. I'm not gonna use the assistant tool for that. I'm just gonna kind of sketch those in just to give you guys the idea otherwise i'll be here all day trying to make perfect lines right we'll have a nice perfect warp door we'll have a nice weird straight goes this way there we go so you can kind of see how it just gives a dramatic look to your environment you know i would use these for environments personally because it has such a really interesting effect um if you google fish eye lens you'll get a lot of really neat images that um have this type of warped look 
it was most common for a while in the beginning of vlogging, especially with those who did more travel vlogs. You always have this weird warped look to it on the, or on the um, edges where it kind of like wrapped around is what it looked like. And it just looked neat, but it had a really interesting um, aesthetic to it. And you can actually recreate that now in your illustrations. This is not a perfect recreation, but you can do it. So if you're drawing something that you just want more um, of an interesting perspective, bring more life to it, bring more um, like a dramatic look to it or something, just more style, I would go for the fisheye lens for sure. This is a very interesting oops, uh, assistant tool. I think it's one of definitely one of the more interesting ones. Um, like you can get all sorts of crazy things from. So yeah, if you want to make some really cool dramatic environments, you can do like weird sci-fi ships even with this. Maybe you just want to make a really long hallway that's just creepy looking. You could do that. Um, I don't know, man. Just all sorts of things you could do. The possibilities are endless. Uh, you could do that. So yeah, I would recommend going to play with this, see what you can get out of it, try and use it to make a really interesting environment with for your characters, or just practice redrawing a fisheye uh, lens picture that you find, just to kind of see how it looks. And if you can recreate it, as like for illustration practice, all sorts of good things you can do with it. Uh, that's it for the fisheye point. Nothing too crazy, um, real simple. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. Uh, make sure to like the video if you learned something or if you liked the fisheye point assistant tool. And, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video in the assistant tool series. All right, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.